Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to read out an existing JMX portable radio, as well as also field program a new radio to match it. This is probably the most common call that our customer care team receives because it's a scenario that comes up quite often. In this example, I'm an end user who has a number of JMX portable radios already in service. I've recently received several more, only to find out that they do not communicate with my radios right out of the box. What am I going to do? Well, let's get started. First things first, we should make sure that the radio models are the exact same, or at least in the same band. All of our JMX series are divided into two groups, either UHF or VHF. See the chart to find your radio model to determine if it is VHF or UHF. Once we've determined that the radio models are compatible, we need to determine how the current radios are programmed in order to program the new ones to match. In this example, I have the JMX144D in service already, and I've just received a few more of the same model. There are two primary components of the radio's programming. They are its operating frequency, or frequency code when found on the table list, and the tone code, either analog or digital, also found in the table list. Both components have to be matched exactly in order for the radios to talk back and forth with each other. In order to get this information from our current radios, we have to first start by putting it into programming mode. We start with the radio turned off, and from that point we press and hold the push to talk button on the side of the radio, while also simultaneously pressing and releasing the on button on top of the radio. Once it's done beeping, we release the push to talk, and it'll first read out a series of numbers that aren't important for what we're doing. This is just radio model firmware and revision information, not pertinent to the programming. Once we have the dash on the display, that's our indication that we're in programming mode. So now that our radio is in programming mode, we'll read out the values that are in channel 1. We press and release the on volume up button on top of the radio. And the radio beeps back that it's 2211. That's frequency code 22, tone code 11. This is the information that we'll program into our new radios. In my example, I also use channel 2, so we'll go ahead now and capture that information from channel 2 as well. So to read out channel 2, we once again press and release the on volume up button and take note of the four numbers that it presents. Two zero one three. So frequency code 20, tone code 13. So now that we have this information in hand, we'll go about the process of putting this information into our new radios. So once again, we'll put the radio into programming mode by pressing and holding the push to talk on the side of the radio and pressing and releasing the on volume up button. Once it begins beeping, go ahead and release it. And once more, we have the dash on the display. We're in programming mode and ready to enter values. So the information that we pulled from channel one of our old radio was 2211. We'll go about putting that same information into our new radio by pressing the push to talk button the corresponding number of times. So our first number is a two. We'll press the push to talk two times. You hear that tone, that means it accepted it. The next number also is a two, so we'll press it two more times. Then a one. And one once more. Once we have all four numbers entered, we press the on button to save. Then we simply press the channel select button to get to channel two, and our values for that was 2012. Once again, we'll put those values in by pressing the push to talk button. Two times for a two, 10 times for a zero, one time, and three times. Press the on button to save that. When finished, you can press and release the on volume up button to do a readout to confirm the programming accepted. Two zero one three. We got it. So now that we've confirmed that the radio information is entered correctly, we can simply turn the radio off and turn it back on normally and do a simple radio check to make sure that we're talking with the rest of our group. 
Thank you for your purchase of Rytron Radios. We do appreciate your business. For more information, visit us on the web at rytron.com.